Okay, well, I wanted to uh, make a little film here to help people get started on this mini matrix maker that Neil Ramson has put <coughs> together. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you find it. Just type exactly that, mini matrix maker. And you should find um, pretty quickly right at the top uh, homepage. So I click that and that takes me to the page. Now I will point out that this there's a relationship in a sense between this and the word microscope and this is something that uh, I'll recommend that people take a look at as well. Um, you can use this you can download this one for free now on in and work use it on a PC. The matrix the mini matrix maker however is uh, a simpler version of that and is can be used on a Mac or or a PC because it's uh, just run right online. So anyways, we're back here. And what I'm going to suggest that you do to get started is that you run a temporary test version. Right now, it's uh, a free to use, but at some point fairly soon, it'll be have a small user fee. But we want to make sure people have a sense of what it is. So when you're here, what you'll find is that to get a sense of how it makes it work, you have the instructions here, and Neil has created some examples. Let me, and so the first thing to do is to choose your working base for the matrix you want to create. Now, to see how it works, he's created an example. So if you click the example, example button, we can see he's chosen uh, the initial base, uh, or sorry, the base M-O-D-E. Um, notice he's spelled it with an initial capital. That's important, we'll talk about that. Um, and he's chosen the base M-O-D-E. And it's an option, if you'd like, um, to choose a denotation. Now, he's identified measure manner as the underlying denotation of the base word mode. Now, how did he do that? Well, there's, certain, there's nothing in the matrix maker that does that, but this is the kind of work that you and your students should do with references. So here's a dictionary. I've searched the word mode, and we find uh, the definition. But down here, we find the origin from Latin modus for measure. Um, so where did he get this idea of manner? Well, I don't know which reference he used, but we should always check more than one. I went over to my one of my favorite references, online etymology, and here we find uh, a couple of definitions for mode, um, a manner, fashion, style here from Latin modus for manner. But if we look down here, we find Latin modus and we get a whole much longer list of underlying denotations, including measure and uh, manner and such. So um, you this is what the kind of choices you get to make on, on your own. Uh, Neil chose measure and manner. Now, the next bit is, is crucial. Um, what you need to do to build your matrix, of course, is to write word sums. And um, notice the instructions, one sum per line, uh, with or without rewrite arrows, uh, and a target word, I'm going to always recommend that you name the letters as you type them and you use the rewrite arrow and you name it on, on the right side of the arrow. And also crucial for this particular program is that you need to use an initial capital letter for, for any base element in order for the program to read um, that element as a base. So I'm going to show you uh, by clicking, clicking example these are the word sums that Neil chose to build. I'll make that a little bit bigger. Notice wherever he has identified a base, he signaled it with a, a capital uh, letter. So once you've got, you don't need that many, but uh, once you've got a couple even, you can make a matrix um, and press update to draw the matrix. So you can, here's the update button for the example I just click here. And all of a sudden, all those word sums just plunk into a uh, this matrix and you get the word sums but you can also see you can see exactly what you input so you'll get you'll get the word sums typed out even if you didn't complete them but here's the I can see what I typed and what I got is there um, as and in the classroom or whatever you can sit you might well want to print it and if you do that you can I'm gonna go ahead and instead of printing right now I'm gonna save it as a I'm gonna open it as a PDF and then you'll be able to see what uh, you could print off or save in a file for teachers. You get the, the large matrix that you've just created, and you have the word sums that um, were used to build the matrix. And if you had chosen, you also see what you actually input with the capital letters and everything. 
So that's pretty cool. Um, now let's just go back and instead of letting um, someone else control it, let's build our own. So I'm going to clear all that data and I'm just going to take a super simple one. Um, let's work with the base uh, and notice the base will use the capital P-L-A-Y and I'm not even going to put a denotation. We know what play means well enough I think. So one word I might want to make is replay. So I type R-E plus capital P-L-A-Y and then my rewrite arrow R-E-P-L-A-Y and if I want to go uh, playing I'm going to write the capital P and then L-A-Y plus I-N-G is rewritten as P-L-A-Y I-N-G and notice how I'm stating and typing that A-Y close together as it's a digraph and pausing at the plus signs that's just a habit that I really want people to get into and we'll just do one more someone who um, a record player I might talk about an old record player so that would need the base P L A Y plus E R is rewritten as P L A Y E R and I've only got three little word sums but that might that be all I want to do so what I'm going to do is update and boom I have my little uh, matrix for the base P L A Y and of course I could make it bigger another time and I can uh, print it if I want but right there um, you've already got you can see how quickly and easily students and teachers can create their own matrices from word sums thank you Neil Ramson